Howdy everybody, my name is Jason and today I'm going to be teaching you two point perspective. Now if you haven't seen my first video on creating one point perspective, go ahead and watch that. I'll leave the link in the description. It'll only take a couple minutes, it's not very long, so go ahead and watch that and then jump right back into this video. Alright, so for those of you that have watched the first video, let me tell you a little bit about two point perspective. So two point perspective is basically like one point perspective, except there's two points. So let me show you what I mean. So let's create a new layer and on our horizon line, we're going to create two points. And instead of a point in the center of our image or not image, but our scene, we're going to create a point at one end of our page and another point at the other end of our page. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer so that our object is on a different layer. All right. So what we need to do is we need to create a vertical line. And ours can be a little bit off centered so we can see a little bit more of the perspective. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create our vanishing lines that go to our vanishing points. And they're going to start at the top and go to the vanishing point and start at the bottom and go to the vanishing point. Now, two point perspective is like one point perspective. The only difference is, like I said, there's two points. And so what that means is that in one point perspective, you get a straight on view. So if this were a square, we would get a straight on view of a square and then the side of the square would go out to its vanishing point. In two point perspective, we get to see this side of the square go off into its vanishing point. But we also don't get a straight on view of this square. We see that also go off to its vanishing point. So let's go ahead and create our vanishing lines. And again, all I'm doing is holding down shift and clicking at a different point to create those straight lines. Cool. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to create vertical lines on either side of the our first vertical line. And that will be the edge of our cube. Now let's go ahead and use our eraser and we can erase away the unwanted vanishing lines. And what I'm doing here is I'm just holding down shift while I erase the same way that I create straight lines. I can erase a straight line. All right. So now if we turn off our vanishing or our horizon line, we have a nice cube there that's sitting there in two point perspective. Now maybe you want to create a different type of shape and you don't just always want to create cubes. Like maybe you want to create a cylinder. Well, I'm going to show you real quick how you can do that. And it's super simple. In real life when you're drawing with paper and pencil, this can be a little bit difficult and confusing, but luckily in Photoshop with its tools, it is so easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an ellipse. So we'll come to our ellipse tool, which is right there. And whoops. And then we're just going to click and drag and hold down shift while we do it and that will create a perfect circle for us. Um, we want a solid line so we'll select a solid line and let's change the color to black. Cool. Next we're going to use the transform tool to change the shape of our circle. So we'll go control T or on a Mac it's going to be command T and now we can resize this and get it into place. Actually Sorry, we're going to use the distort tool. So we'll right click, come to the distort tool. And now what we can do is we can grab each corner point and drag it to wherever we want. And this way we can distort our shape. So we're going to drag each corner point to the corner of our cube on this face. All right, we'll hit enter and that. Yes. All right. So now we have our circle and one point. But now we need to cut off this area of the cube so that it's a cylinder. So what we're going to do is let's just turn off our cube. And real quick, I'm just going to try erasing our circle. And it's a vectorized shape right now, and so you can't erase it. But by trying to erase it, that just quickly allows you to turn it into a pixel, a pixel layer. So now we can erase it if we wanted to. So using our brush tool, we're just going to, or actually first, we want to copy this circle. And we're going to paste it again. And we'll just put that off to the side for now. Coming back to our first circle, we're going to create a line from here to there, our vanishing line. And we'll do the same for the bottom. So right now we have a cylinder that is just vanishing off to our vanishing point. 
but maybe you want your cylinder to end like right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our other cylinder, or not cylinder, but our other circle, and we're going to shrink it down so that it fits between the two lines, like that. Now, this isn't 100% perfect perspective. I could go into a more complicated version that's more accurate, but for beginners, this will work fine for now. So we're gonna go ahead and erase out the areas of the circle that we don't want because this is not a see-through cylinder so we don't want to see the other side of our circle. Then we're going to come back to our first layer and we're going to erase away the vanishing points that we don't want which is anything that's not part of the object. Awesome. So there you have it. We just created a cylinder in two-point perspective. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just trying to teach some people some art skills. If you liked it, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, and I'll send you many more videos like this one. My name's Jason, and have a great life.